Yeah. Hello, welcome to some live time. Uh, always nice to see if anyone is hearing me and I'm waiting for Sarah, the sarcastic whiskey wench. So just before she arrives, I'm not sure if she actually, hear, if anyone can hear me or something like that. I have no clue. Uh, so let's see if she decides to join here. It's always like uh, some, some trouble to get people to uh, to get in the live stream i think it's instagram just fucking with us uh, trying to make us feel really really bad or something like that sound is good says sean kincaid and we'll see hello sarah hello how are you i'm fine this is as, as light as it gets in my room here it's my it's my, actually my bedroom slash uh, whiskey office uh, <laughs> whiskey uh, office and, yeah, i can't one. get any more light in here so i'm sorry about that there's yeah, Swedish I winter is approaching. Up some up here, so. Very nice. Not. Hi, yeah. Sean. So, uh, I was actually thinking about uh, starting the live stream with uh, with an Irish phrase, but I forgot about it. So, uh, that's bad <laughs> from me. <laughs> it's fine. Um, it's fine. It's been a busy week. And how are you? It's been a busy week. I am uh, settling in, and it's Monday tomorrow. So, yeah. And how are you? It's been a busy week, you? I'll put it that way. Yeah, I'm okay, busy. thank you. Yeah. You're it's okay. Been a and week. It's been for you, I guess. And uh, just to be clear, this is the, the last live in a while because you're switching the tea, English afternoon tea for a tartan, uh, meaning? Absolutely. I am uh, moving up north uh, shortly. The uh, closing of my house should be imminent. Um, and then I should be moving up in four to six weeks. And at that point, it's going to get crazy. So... I shall resume the lives once I'm settled in up north, which should hopefully be around late October, early November. But, you know, let's hope bureaucracy yeah. is on my side. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid thing to say because it never is. So uh, we should be the I best know, of luck, of course. We'll see. Yeah. Thank you. And so yeah. have you told so the good people what we are trying tonight? I was just about to. Uh, and uh, we are going to try four whiskeys from Ireland. Uh, so it's, it's an Irish whiskey talk today. So what we're trying mm -hmm. in this order is that we're going to try the seven churches. Um, beautifully okay. gifted by you. I got this. Yes. Little uh, this amazing is, bottle. This is my last bit. I'm, I'm finishing this. So yeah. we are finishing my, my <laughs> bottle of seven churches tonight. That you threw away. Which, yeah, it's, it's a shame because <laughs> it's my fault I, I actually, I think. And it's we're not. going to try Samuel Gelston's. Uh, I have, a, yeah. ooh, I think Oops, I have I'm a single sorry. pot still. I have the uh, sherry cask finish. So ours will be yeah. slightly different in flavor, um, but it's very good. Um, yeah. And then it's the cologne, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, cologne. I'm trying, I'm trying, but to differentiate, I'm trying batch one, you're trying batch I'm two. I'm going for batch two. I have batch yeah. one uh, behind me, but I'm a bit reluctant to open it because I'm a cheap asshole. Yes. Uh, and the last, no, on Fargrin, the, the Mointer. On Fargrin, yep. yes. And you Good have... stuff. Actually, at last, and to anyone uh, from the UK uh, interested in, in like purchasing stuff yes. from Irish malts, it could be good to know that Irish malts, due to Brexit, always is a step behind uh, regarding to, to Irish whiskey getting over. Unfortunately, it's me. not their yeah. fault, though. But it's not their fault at all. No. Um, but they, they, were, they were kind enough, actually, to notify me when this came in because... I um, was sent a sample of this and I thought it was so good I wanted to buy it. So I went to buy it and it wasn't available and it took five weeks due to Brexit, but Irish Malts yeah. did notify me when it was there and I, I bought it because it's, it's a really good drop. I think it's yeah. fantastic. So, I mean, it, it, it's all due to Brexit, so it's not, uh, mm -hmm. it's yeah. not their fault. It, it's, uh, no, the, it's the, not at all. Yeah. You can't blame it's a political them solution demanded. Yeah. So shall we get started with the seven churches? And I will Absolutely. be using a seven churches glass that I got from you. I actually you, you don't did buy a glass faux pas. because you normally I, always break it. Yeah, I put my I put my what? Gelstons in the seven churches and my seven churches in my open glass. I don't know why. You have a seven churches glass. Oh. I do. Three. Yeah, but I. Uh, no, no, I only have one because I sent the other one to you. But no, I, I didn't put my seven churches drop in the seven churches glass ah. like an idiot. I put it in this one and I put the Gelston's in my this seven churches my... one. 
you told me to to try this out before our live, but I haven't. I I just lied. So um, this is so my so first you're just drop. this is your first drop. So you you tell me what you think. Yeah. You have a little drop, and then you tell me. It's, uh, on the nose, it's like a basic Irish whiskey, I'd say. Um, sweetness, vanilla. Pretty, not not like not beating you over the head or something like that. Pretty. Uh, no, not at all. I, pretty good. Although I, yeah, absolutely. I get a little bit of dates, but just a little bit of dates. I'd like a date and as well. Um, <laughs> That was a language joke for me as a Swedish person. Very funny. But I have a superior <laughs> sense of humor. I'm you told. do indeed. Sometimes I don't get it. <laughs> but what do you think of this? I'm sorry. Uh, seven, seven churches. Uh, I like it. It has, uh, I mean, the classic sweetness of an Irish whiskey is probably triple distilled. Mm -hmm. uh, unsure where it's made. If it's made at West Cork or Cooley, perhaps. I'm, I don't have a clue. Um, I've forgotten and I've gotten rid of the bottle, um, but um, I do know what the seven churches, it was made where they think that Irish whiskey was first distilled in an area where monks, you know, got the recipe um, and it was to celebrate the, um, the first, you know, sort of coming over of whiskey to Ireland. And that's why it's called seven churches because it was this area of seven churches that um that monks came together and made whiskey in ireland for apparently the first time so somebody google it um and find out i did know that but um i don't know the full answer uh, about where it Perhaps is but the, it's meant to be the 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 place seven churches is i don't think they make their own whiskey i'm not sure the clon clon yeah. uh, sean kincaid has written something said, i can't thank pronounce. you sean <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm sure you it's, can uh, I mean, it's, it's not harsh in any way. Pretty smooth, uh, no. soft whiskey. It's I, not I, I think it's like a creamy honey with vanilla, and then it finishes. It, uh, to me, it finishes with a slight burn, but then you got the vanilla linger. Um, I, I, it's quite a lovely drop. Um, it's nice. Yeah. Just so you know, it your internet is acting up a bit. I don't think that you can do anything about it, but your you're lagging. Oh, sorry. Uh, in a sense. Oh, no, apologies. it's not your fault. I'm just saying so that you understand mm. if I'm uh, uh, running Taking... ahead sometimes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Apologies. No, it's uh, technology. Yeah, yay. So yeah, seven churches. We agree. It's, it's a good drop. Nice and light. And um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Good Irish whiskey. Yeah, it's it's uh, like one of those class Irish whiskeys that you that you can drink mm -hmm. uh, every day. I would say, and you have because you finished your mm -hmm. bottle that you actually won. I have finished from my bottle. In a giveaway, yes, I, think. <laughs> yeah. I did win it in a giveaway, and I'm really glad I did because I, I was really, I really did enjoy it. I enjoyed it uh, very quickly. <laughs> so thank you to Seven Churches, and um, I think I will actually buy another bottle in the future because um, it is worth having, as you said, a sort of everyday if whiskey. If they're available. Yeah, if they're available. It's, it's really hard. Uh, I don't know what they're up to uh, on their website, actually, if they're focusing mm -hmm. on the American market like everyone else does, because uh, I can't can't get any, uh, at least. And I look like an idiot here with my light ring. I don't know what's happening. It's yeah. fine. Ooh, <laughs> so sorry. So, so shall we, be shall we move on, on to, to Gelston's? Is it Samuel next? Gelston, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I you have this, uh, the uh, single pot still from uh, mm -hmm. Belfast Whiskey Week. Very nice. Was included in and one I of those uh, those packages. So you, um, so I think we we should probably taste these separately than mine because um, mine is the um, the sherry cask finish. Um, and the thing is, I have to say about this drop is it's only five years old, but I think it's quite evolved for a five-year-old. I did not anticipate this level of richness um, from a five-year-old, but then we're going to try another five-year-old that I think is also superior. Oh, thank you. Um, but it's, um, I get sugary and tart on the nose and then I sort of get cereals in the initial taste, but then I get some sugar and, um, it finishes sort of like a rich fudge, which I find surprising because it's so young, but it's, it's lovely. I really like it. 
You don't like yours? Hmm. Yeah, oh dear. Like it, it's fully okay whiskey. It has a certain moment. Fully okay. <laughs> but it is... What? No, fully what, okay. I'm just saying say? fully okay. That's, I, said, I said that's yeah, great. It, that's fully okay. Yeah, but it, it's like a single pot still. It doesn't have the thickness that you would expect from a single pot still. So... Hmm, interesting. A bit thin for me. Uh, and it has the spiciness, but I like my single pot still. It's like you're biting into to some sort of like a candy or something like that but it's like thicker and fuller mm. and this is a bit thin but i mean the flavor is there it it has the the amount of spiciness that you would expect so it's it's a good uh, i would say this is perhaps like an entry level single pot still it won't beat you over the head this either um, i mean it's pretty pretty easy drinker it's good to know and what you should I, know I would about actually this, recommend this. Are, they're very affordable yeah these are dirt cheap. Yes, uh, everything they are from Samuel very Benson affordable. is so cheap. So if you're buying yeah. something, you want to buy like Amazon UK or Ireland, Gelston's uh, can't find anything cheaper. It's perhaps the Busker or something like that. Or Sleeve League. <laughs> and, the and it's good. And it's good. Oh, I love mm. I love a Selkie. A Selkie is very good. But this this is very good. I mean, I, I didn't anticipate a five year old tasting this rich. So um, I, I quite enjoy it. And I mean, so you have to, to uh, adjust to the market in Ireland and in the UK. It's been crazy mm -hmm. with the prices and the price demand. So if you find mm -hmm. something that's, I mean, relatively cheap, try to, to buy it so they don't fuck it up and, uh, and disappear <laughs> or something like that. But this is a really affordable whiskey, Galtons. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just a big up for Paul and Belfast Whiskey Week. Got the sample pack. It's like around 30 or something like that. These odd samples would... Everything from uh, mm -hmm. high-end whiskies to to uh, to Jameson basics. So it's like a surprise yeah. pack uh, if you got one of them. The pass is that I try to explain to you. I mean, totally yeah. incomprehensible, perhaps, but uh, maybe. Yeah. So I like mine. Uh, I like. I like. I like, I like mine as whiskey. well. I mean, um, yeah. Many people ask me, "Why do you always like your whiskey?" But I, but I research my stuff before I buy it, and uh, I think that whiskey has a certain time and place. Always, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it has to be Absolutely. really disgusting for me not to like it. Should we have our fourth dram? Absolutely. Uh, you mean our, yeah. So, yes. Third, the ever third. amazing. Some drunk already. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's nearly empty, unfortunately. I love it so much. But the Cologne, um, five-year-old rum and raisin. And this, this is just bliss. This, to me, smells like Christmas. And I remember when I reviewed it on Instagram, I, I recall that when I first smelled this, it brought back strong memories of making Christmas cookies or biscuits, depending on where you are, with my uh, mother leading up to Christmas. And it, it's just, it's that sort of evocative, I think. And then you try it and lush. That's so good. Lots of Christmas cake and brown and sugar a... and toffee and raisins. And you have a cologne glass as well, I see. Yeah. I do indeed. Yeah. I have a two <laughs> stacks glass because yeah, that that's my 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 glass for the night. So it's two stacks. Um. Yeah, I agree on everything. Uh, I actually got some like a lot of spices, but it, it's like a Christmas whiskey for me. This. It has so much yeah. spices that, that uh, I mean, they live up to, to what you do around Christmas when you're baking and the cooking. And stuff. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is something. I mean, it's a five-year-old whiskey, and it's not their it own is. whiskey. It's um, something no, they cooked others. up. I think it's something that's distilled mm -hmm. around the parts of, I don't remember it's in, if it's in Laut or something like that, that it's uh, distilled and picked up, can't Laut, I believe. Um... Oh, I'm not sure. Um, Should be on the bottom. But... PX Sherry and dark rum finishes. Yeah. For the perfect Count flavor of Caribbean uh, with, 
with I don't taste any coconut as they say but I do get vanilla figs prunes and raisins but I also get a flurry of like nutmeg and cinnamon and gingerbread men and as you said just Christmas and it's it's chewy as well it's got a good viscous viscosity to it um as you drink it so I really this is one this has been one of my favorites this feels like a special dram to me like one you'd, you'd have at it on a special occasion which is why I probably still have some left because I didn't want to and get through it too quickly but alas I'm nearly done yeah I have uh, what is that dram it's a Kilowin ramen raisin and uh, batch one and two uh, from, yeah, yes, uh, uh, yeah it, it, it's one of their blended with single malt it's a single malt Irish yeah. whiskey yes uh, five-year-old uh, rum and raisin, five-year-old cologne. It's absolutely wonderful. Very, very sold out. But I believe that they'll come out with a batch three, I think. I, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I would assume they're coming out with a batch three of that. <laughs> I would assume so. And I think that they will be trying to to focus over their, their own liquid eventually oh. to have, like the, hello, mm -hmm. Slanja, the mashupper. Slanja, yes, mashupper. Yes, an angry face there as well. <laughs> what are you angry at us for, Mashup? I mean, you'll have to, to drink your own whiskey. I can't, uh, I can't help you tonight. Yeah, Jose, it is good. No, so Jose was just going saying, to, send, um... to gift me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to gift him. He, he's, he's been very sad that I gave you the, the Sadler's Peaky Blinders. So if you, if you haven't, check out Sarah's oh, okay, post on but... Sadler's Peaky Blinders. And I, I only yes. promised that I would send you something this year, the day the match up for heads. So you will be getting something, but not tonight. It's impossible. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. Absolutely. <laughs> and to be honest, I've sent you a fair few and things as well. Mm. I wrote that as well. Um, so it's not That's like so me. <laughs> and so good. I think that they will be probably uh, steering their own liquid to be like... Uh, yeah. To have this as a blueprint, many does that. Uh, the mm -hmm. like the the McConnell's whiskey uh, during Belfast Whiskey mm -hmm. Week, I tried something that uh, that they had like a blueprint idea for, uh, like a future thing that they okay. wanted to do. If you understand what I mean. You're freezing up now. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. The the, ah. the, the uh, yeah, but I'm here. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's one of those things that you, you commonly do. You try other stuff and you see where do I want my, my distillate to go and my maturation. So um, probably I would say that this is something that they're aiming for to do in the future. Uh, by their own liquid and standard. I, this to is be something honest, I get. Yeah, so, uh, everything from Cologne I've absolutely loved. Um, their Pachini, their whiskey. Um, not tried their gin yet, but their gin is making waves now. But uh, more of a whiskey gal anyway. Yeah, and I like the hint gin. It's, uh, I mean, it's in Lidl sold out. How the fuck is that possible? Yeah. More or less. So, uh, well, if you go to Little, you come out. If you go to Little for milk, you'll come out with gin and a trampoline, to be honest. And Lidl it's is uh, it's like the Germans, isn't it? That this is the Aldi, the Germans. Aldi, the Germans, yeah. So should we move on? <laughs> yeah, we should go for the last one before we uh, flip out. On yeah. Cargrin, yes, very and, uh, good stuff. To explain, uh, the guy, the guy is uh, in Irish, the man of comedy, a comedy man. That's uh, mm -hmm. The far on far means the man, I think, or a man, and green means some sort of humor or comedy or something like that. And uh, the Montiac, the Mont, Mont, I can't pronounce that. It is something like Pete, PT, or something like that, right? Okay. Yes, yeah. this is a uh, peated whiskey. Go to bed, children. Yeah. And she's talking to her husband now, so that's. Oh, <laughs> your children. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was joking. Um, Superior I'm human. Uh, exactly. I, I think that the the guys uh, or the guy at uh, Unfargreen may be here. So um, hello, George. And like we said before, thank you a lot for the sample that we received earlier. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. really something. And he has hello. that on the nose. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, it's cut, freshly cut grass and a sort of sweet peat. It's not over. It's not overpowering the peat. It's sort of. It's really balanced. I think I would say this is if you want to try peat, 
um, especially Irish peat, this is a good entry. I tried Connemara and to me that just wasn't didn't have enough flavor, but this, this is something really, really good. And I think, I mean, this could compete with some Isla whiskeys. I don't know if I get in trouble for saying that, but it could compete with some. If you want to, to I mean, it is compete with him. Hello guys, hello George. And hello, the uh, hello. whiskey drummer appeared as well. Hello. I mean, it's, uh, I think that you should compare Irish peat to Irish peat somewhat, but I understand what you're saying. This is, um, this is a standout tribe and you have had a it's good deal of, yeah. Yeah. But you've had a lot of good Irish peat lately. You've got the, the Sleeve League, the Selkie, you've got the, the WD O'Connell, mm, Big Phil. And you got this yeah. from Manfagwin. I mean, it's a lot of good stuff. You had the peat stuff yeah. from two stacks. But I think this one's a bit superior to those only because I feel like it's so well balanced. You have the sort of green apple sweet tart meeting the warming spice and then the, the peat. So, and as I said, it's not, it's not too, it's not too aggressive, the peat. Um, no. It's not going to be like a Lafroy or anything. This is going to be something really pleasant that you can enjoy um, over a long period of time. I, I, just, I think it's fantastic. Oh, extremely well done. Um, and I, I liked the previous of Fargren as well. So I, I hope they continue to produce such lovely things. I think he's got some single casks perhaps coming up later. Mm -hmm. um, so they'd be... A this is like a, a, a more standard expression for me, I think, I think, if I understand everything right. And also some guy, uh, Jose, it's called Jose or Joe, yeah, Whiskey Collection. Hello. Uh, we are friends on Instagram, uh, but I don't yes. know how to pronounce yeah. the name really, if it's uh, and something Jose, I believe. Hispanic I think we're like correct if we're not <laughs> correct, but um, I, I think Anfargren is, is one to sort of keep your eye out for. Um, Anfargren and Tipperary, two Irish whiskies, I think you really need to pay attention to because they're only going to get better and better and better. Exactly, and I, I like the, I mean, we both, uh, Jose, yeah? Uh, yeah we have, uh, I mean, we, we both uh, have a uh, what you call it? Uh, we have a warm heart for small batch distillers that uh, small small companies uh, yeah. running their schemes and trying to do as good as they can. I love that concept. So I would fight yeah. and die for those people, actually. Well, and it helps that they're making damn good whiskey, um, like uh, okay. Cologne, like Tipperary, like on Um They're they're Three small, stars. but they're mighty, and and they're worth they're worth seeking out. I mean, hunt these one out find them, try some of their things. And I, I challenge you not to think that there's going to be even greater things in their future. Yeah, it's always an evolution because uh, yeah, it, everything works like that with products. So I'm going to have a little bit more about this one for this one. I, I can <laughs> enjoy it a lot and I have the other yeah. bottle as well. So, but I'm, yeah. you know, I have a lot of whiskey at home, so I'm not finishing my bottles, but I've taken a, a bit of a deal for this for being me. Yeah, it's um, to be honest, this is like the fullest bottle I have. They're all, um, but this, the thing is, I'm trying to um, actually polish off bottles before I move um, so that I don't have too many to take, but that's just not going to happen. So, <laughs> yeah, I understand. It, it, it's better to have a few full bottles to, to travel up to Scotland, and you'll have the proximity Absolutely. to some wonderful distilleries uh, closer than in, in, in England. Yeah, well, I'm going to the Cotswolds. Um, next Sunday with a mate of mine and she's a gin fan and I'm a whiskey fan so she'll drink the gin and I'll drink the whiskey <laughs> um, so that will be a good English distillery to check out and then once I get up north there's that's my oyster <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah and, and your friend just to be clear I just think that people should follow her she, if you are interested in, in gin and her name is yeah. it's gin o'clock somewhere um, gin o'clock somewhere yeah. and she's um but the thing is it's not she's not just really into her gin she really knows her gin she's an incredibly nice person as well she yeah. is just such a lovely person um so she's if you're into gin um she's absolutely worth following because she knows a lot more about gin than i do and she explains it really well uh, very articulate and um she knows her stuff and what i understand she seasons her own product uh, she, she buys gin and she does her own 
seasoning yeah. what you can do if you can boil up your yes. stuff to make your own gin and i think that people should try that because i mean i can't cook my own whiskey but you can see it here i have a, you I have a are barrel. into whiskey though yeah it, it will it won't be whiskey but it will be something else i think and it's it, just for for a period of month it's been so it's so dark and it has such lovely flavors and i'm thinking we're going to call it the the blue giraffe blend and I will be telling you about that yeah. because yeah. we have a, a book series called the the Ada and yeah. uh, she's a blue giraffe, yeah. giraffe and uh, she's traveling around Scotland, Scotland. yeah with yeah. Uh, a little boy yes a little yeah. autistic boy so mm, mm. yeah so we have all these kind of things in the works and um, yes after the move I think we should work on getting more whiskeys doing more lives traveling to places to to get more whiskey yeah just to to, to uh, tell people what will happen uh, hopefully during like the next year is that i'm going to whiskey live in dublin in march and we are planning on going to uh, belfast whiskey week during the summer you me and a friend yeah. of yours going up from from scotland driving up to to uh, the northern ireland parts and uh, hanging out with the people there just have to find out which days they are so Paul, if you're listening, get your ass off the wagon, stop eating chocolate, and tell us which dates are they are planned for. Probably won't happen. Yeah. No, I see boy. the fact those dates. So we got to book uh, Belfast, because the Malt Maiden and you and I were going to Belfast, yeah. and we're going to go to Belfast Whiskey Week. And you're coming to Scotland to do some distilleries up there as well. Um, you absolutely should do yeah. some, even if they're just around Glasgow, because there's so many worth seeing. Yeah, and you can always get like beat up in Glasgow as well if you want to go around on the town, something I, like that. You can, I. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so this is like we said, we've tried, if you want to, to know, seven churches. Choo. Mm -hmm. I have a little left, Gelston's single pot still and five-year-old cherry cast finish. Uh, mm -hmm. Killer with rum and raisin, batch one and two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... And Fargren, uh, I, I'm not even going to try and say that on the top, I apologize. I, Montiac, I think, or something like that, I tried. Uh, and I just want to show that I'm wearing my Photoshop Kilo and Jersey. Oh, God. This is Photoshopped. He thought it was Photoshopped, oh my God, yeah, I know. He thought our, our shirts were Photoshopped. No, we, we made fan-made um, cologne shirts. You did it. Shirt. Yeah, I did. I yeah, <laughs> I sent you one. I forgot to wear mine. I should have worn mine. <laughs> and I mean, it's um, it, it's because it it's a bit of banter with uh, if you've seen the the whiskey episode where Brandon Carty appears and he has this uh, very beautiful brown zipper jumper uh, mm -hmm. on an episode that's been broadcasted on BBC and everything, and it's been a lot of banter in the cult, uh, the Killowan cult, and I can't say that the, the cult exists, but they will, if they know that I've said it, they will kill me, so I won't say that it perhaps <laughs> exists. And, I don't uh, know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's been a lot of banter about the brown jumper, so on the back it says, uh, creators of fine Irish whiskey and questionable brown jumpers. Advocates yeah. of questionable yeah, brown sorry. jumpers, yeah. Yeah. You, no, it's you, fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine uh, because uh, Brendan has questionable tastes and jumpers. Or maybe maybe somebody gifted it to him. Maybe, maybe his grand made it. I don't know. But I think, um, it, who knows? I mean, you have to think about it like that, Sarah. This, this is probably, I mean, I, I can elaborate on this, I would say. I've seen women going around in my hometown with like the, the high cut jeans that make your ass look like it's five meters and you have the the, the 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 legs that go back like the, the 70s pants if you understand what i mean okay yeah the flares yeah. perhaps mm -hmm. you have those i don't know but anyways i mean we are don't. going back in time so perhaps brandon carty and his brown jumper is actually ahead of the rest of the world and in one year we will be eating up our own t-shirts because brandon carty is the fashionista of morn okay Think about that and we'll be closing we'll, we'll, with that, uh, I think. <laughs> uh, that will be my yeah. philosophical dilemma over the next few days, that Brendan Carty is the uh, fashion trendsetter. I, um, yeah, I'll mull that around, Robert. Yeah. After all, he is, the, he is the poster boy of Lidl. Okay? He is. Yeah. He is the poster yeah. boy of Lidl. Absolutely, he is. He's a model and a whiskey maker. And I think he, he, they will be selling more whiskey than Mario Carey's Black Irish. And 
<laughs> Whiskey Wanker, Brandon caught it for Brown Jumper Club. Yeah, that's that's a new page. Uh, he he doesn't know how to access uh, Instagram, so I don't think he will be watching this. Uh, he, yeah, or he'll appear on <laughs> the hint in account or something like that. Yeah. So thank you very much, and I will be posting thank this you. on YouTube. If you haven't seen this, I will also hopefully be posting it on Instagram if you want to rewatch the ramblings. And like we said, uh, for a while this is bye bye. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will yeah, try to yeah, doing a, a review of the time well spent box that I have behind me next yes. week. And we have a few tastings with uh, Glenn Cadam, Tom and Tal. And uh, yeah. hopefully Glenn I will Cadam. be seeing something like from Teeling as well shortly. Absolutely. Yeah. And so we shall stick a pin in our lives and we'll be back in a few few weeks. Yeah, we'll stick a Thank pin you. in it. Yep. Thank you very much uh, for having Thank yourself you. here. And, uh, and thank you for having me. Yeah. Shalom. Slanjava. Slanja. Bye bye. Cheers, Jose. Bye bye.